lost footage of an estate sale we're looking back now I probably should have purchased more because the price was right so join me estate sale day always love to see what people have in their homes it was a new home but believe it or not I found some old things <laughs> Newer home, not sure what we're going to find. There's like teacups. It's a cute set. There's no price. that up. It's made in Denmark. Those are cute. Germany. I don't know what the going rate of it is though. This one's cute. Porschgrund. Norway. They like their teacups. What's this little guy? Why is he in a teapot? Is he supposed to be in there? No, we'll grab him. Look at those little mice. Snoopy. She's cute. found this lovely lady made from a Hess box. These are neat. These were made in Norway. 1967, I think. So I'm going to look those up. And there are all a bunch of little tchotchkes up here. This guy reminds me from Alice in Wonderland, actually. That's what he kind of looks like. It's Poland. Poland. All sorts of them. What's this guy? Little wooden. These are neat. They're from the International Fair in DC from Korea, 1967. So I think I'm going to grab those too. None of these things are priced, so we'll see how much they are. She's cute. Is this a mouse? I might have to get her. She's adorable. And her head moves. Ugh, we gotta get her. Can't leave her behind. There's like a little dollhouse out there. Another 
Mm-hmm. What's that book? It looks old. Yeah. Gotta maneuver some stuff here. Bethlehem School District. Gingerbread man. It's not the pancake man, but you can't catch him. I'll put these back. Uh, I wonder what my price will be. We shall see. So, yes, a good estate sale. This estate sale was at a new home, so I was not expecting much. What I should have remembered at the time was that this sale was only a one day sale. And I didn't realize until after, or when I was checking out that this estate sale company usually has pretty decent prices because it is one day, they want the stuff out. They don't want to you know, haggle over a couple dollars nickel and dime you. So I probably should have bought more, especially when I look back at this footage a couple months later. Everything that I bought, I spent $20 on, which I thought was a decent price. Mixture of old new things. I didn't touch the teacups. I can't sell them. A lot of the little ceramic and porcelain tchotchkes, I saw them and they just don't do well for me. And I really don't want to sell them online. I did look up a few items, but you know they were selling for five, six dollars and I wasn't sure what they would have charged me, but she, you know, I had a bag ooh, bigger than this full and she just kind of glanced in and was like $20. <laughs> Love it when they do that and makes you regret not buying more. So what did I buy? We're going to start, start off with my favorite find. I actually glanced over this the first time. So it is a, I thought it was handmade at first because you can see there are remnants of a Hess box. Hess. Hess, Hess's was a department store in the area. This part was homemade, but this little lady up here, she's actually made from a pine cone. So she has a spun cotton head with pipe cleaner arms. And then I believe they added this fabric later to match the fabric on her apron because they added this whole burlap area. So she was really cute. This is my favorite find for me. Now, I bought a lot of little dolls. There was one room that had, there were dolls on the sofa, dolls on a dresser, dolls on a bookshelf. I should have taken a better look, but I didn't. I can't explain my mind during these estate sales. I'm still trying to figure it out. I still try and remind myself to slow down and make sure you look at everything, but sometimes the mind escapes you. So yes, a whole bag full of little dolls. The woman kept saying, that's like they're multiplying. <laughs> I did buy these. They have a tag, um, Liv Hassel, made in Norway. And looking up Liv Hassel on eBay, there are just a couple of listings for fabric. So mid-century, Norwegian inspired, I guess you could say. There were only fabric and uh, framed pieces of fabric online, not the dolls. Now just because I can't find these on eBay or online doesn't mean that they're rare. Doesn't mean that this is a one of a kind item that will bring in hundreds of dollars. It doesn't mean that. And I think a lot of people, they get confused when they can't find something. Maybe I only used one website, I used eBay. But when they can't find something, I think they automatically think, oh my goodness, this is going to bring me in tons of money. It's not the case. <laughs> Sometimes it's just not out there. 
Sometimes it's the market is not saturated with it. Other times, perhaps, you know, they weren't as mass produced and people just aren't buying them to resell. Sometimes it can mean that you do have a rare item, but more times than not, it just means that, cool, you found something that perhaps no one else has found for a while and, you know, see what research you can do and what you can find out about it. I bought those. I did buy this little lady. I want to say she is oil cloth. I might be wrong and she might just be vinyl. Antique oil cloth dolls do very well online, especially the really older ones. So you can go, you know, on eBay, Etsy, take a look for yourself, especially if the paint, the face is really nice. So we threw her in there. I liked her coloring. A whole, whole bundle of little, little things, little dolls. So we'll go through fast. This again, another doll. She has plastic legs, which I thought was a little bit odd. Some Christmas items. These should be, I thought they were marked made in Japan. So we have your angels. I did buy that lion head. This guy. <laughs> Again, it's spun cotton head. These are great for crafters, people that like, yep, it has the Made in Japan sticker. People that like their vintage Christmas and decorating with only vintage, perfect for them. Again, more of these guys. I have found a lot of, I found a lot of these in 2020, which I was pleasantly surprised with. Great for use in your Christmas decor and Christmas crafting. What else? Oh, oh no, she lost her head. Off with her head. Good thing it just can go back on there. I thought she was adorable. Wooden little girl with a wheelbarrow. You know, very, I wanna say reminds me of you. Know, Swedish, Dutch, European. I thought she was cute. They had a lot of these. They had these, let me find the partner. So these are marked International Fair, November 13th, 1967 at DC. Now, there was the International Fair in 1967, the Expo, but that was up in Montreal. I did a very brief two second Google search and I couldn't find anything for this fair at that date. I'll have to delve in a little bit more, you know, go through pages two, three, four of Google, but you have little wooden figures. So yes, a lot of little, little stuff. Oh, this is from those dolls. July 10th, 1967, made in Norway. Um, oh, I forgot I bought these. These look to be handmade ceramic praying angels, praying children. They aren't marked on the bottom and they just have that homemade look to them, but I could be completely wrong. But I liked their soft pastel colors, their nice faces, hands are intact, feet are intact. So you picked those guys up. I liked this guy. He looked very, I don't know. <laughs> Again, a whole bunch of little things. Sometimes little things do rather well because people just like to add them to their decor. I did pick up Snoopy. I don't know why. Um, what else, what else? Oh, I have a friend for that guy. We have this woman. We have her too. I think I probably had an idea of what I could use them for at the time. And then the bag got put in a bin and got put away. And I picked up some playing cards. Playtime playing cards. There's a cute little sailboat icon on the front. And then last but not least, I did pick up the wooden puzzle. So all the pieces are there. It has Hank art. So Hank art. I, again, I looked on eBay for Hank art. I could not find it but I like the look of it, like the colors, puzzles all there together, and the little puppies floating in a red inner tube. The kitten would like to float on the inner tube too. 
Simple, simple. So $20 for everything. I thought it was a good price. People at my flea market, they like these little things like this. They like the little dolls, the little porcelain figures. Oh, these are marked Germany. And then I thought these dolls, if anything, I would be able to get my money back on these. Have to do a little bit more research. You know, whether or not they're worth a full 20, I cannot tell, but they're great colors, well made, and I like the look of it. Sometimes the look sells. The look can sell a lot of things. If you can convince someone, that's that's what happens at auctions. If you're at an auction and the auctioneer is really not getting anyone to bid on a certain item, you'll probably notice that they'll start throwing things out there. They'll start throwing out adjectives. They'll start throwing out ways to use this item. Or I saw something like this years ago and it brought in X amount of money. They'll start saying stuff so that people's minds start, you know, the gears start moving. And they'll be like, hey, you know, Maybe I can use it here, or that color will match here, or I know someone that was looking for something like that, so if I buy it for a couple dollars, they might give me, you know, 10 or 15. It's all in how you present something. So that's what draws people in, the color, the shape, the form, and what they could do with it, whether to use it for their home decor, gift giving, props, or if they can resell it. People buy what they like and what draws them in. And that's why I end up with all these, all these little guys. <laughs> Should I have bought more? Probably there were a lot of other items that I thought could do well for reselling, but I was not sure of the price point. I probably should have went back in the home after she only charged me $20 for all of this, but I think I had an appointment to get to. So, or maybe I had to go to work because I was still working full time when this was occurring and I may have snuck out of doing my work to go to this. <laughs> so hopefully once the, the weather starts getting a little bit warmer, there will be more estate sales, more digging sales that I can bring you along with me and we can see what people have accumulated through the years, what goodies they have in their closets and their dressers and their attics and their basements. I love sales like that. So thanks for watching, I hope you enjoyed this. If you did, be sure to click on that thumbs up button and leave a comment about what you thought was a good find or if you have any knowledge about any of my finds today. Thanks for watching, have a great day. I'll see you all next time. Mm -hmm.